This is the manifesto of Mother Monster. Hey man, how you been? Awesome man. I met somebody over winter break and I think I'm in love. Uh, that was sudden. What's her name? Why do you assume it's a girl? Why not affirm me if God made me gay? You've always dated girls, and right before winter break, you were still talking about them. Getting to know Brandon helped me discover who I really am. I see. I've always been attracted to guys. I was born a trisexual. I was so horny as a young man, I'd try anything. Eventually, I found I was really more of a polysexual, what some people call a womanizer. Some call this polyamorous, but I often acted without the knowledge of all my partners. Would reckoning I'd been born an alcoholic or a womanizer make it okay for me to go back to those sins? She'd divorce you quick if you cheated on her. Your children would be crushed. All your friends would take her side, and rightly so. Why? I'd just be reverting back to the womanizer I was born to be. It might even be fun to go back to my trisexual days. There ain't no other way. Maybe I was born this way. Maybe I was born this way. You're crazy. Did I mention I was also born an alcoholic with a very strong genetic predisposition to booze addiction? Hey man, can I have yeah. some of your Corona? You said Jesus rescued you from all that. Yes, he did. From the womanizing also. We're all born with strong dispositions to sin, just in different ways. Okay. So, would reckoning I'd been born an alcoholic or a womanizer make it okay for me to go back to those sins and in the process abandon my promises to my wife when we married and my promises to Jesus when I was baptized? No, I guess not. Then why would reckoning you were born gay or trans or pedophile or whatever make it okay to engage in those sins? One nation under God. Before we come to Jesus, we are all slaves to sin. In many cases, sin that came very naturally to us attractions we've had as long as we can remember. Jesus didn't die and rise again to affirm the sins we may have been born in. Jesus died so we could put to death the man of sin we were all born as, come out of the water a new man, and live a new life as a new creation in him. But doesn't God want me to live my truth? We can't rejoice the truth. If you're dead in sin, you're not living at all. I must be myself, respect my youth. That's not fair. So you want to live what you reckon you were born to be, but you don't want me to go back to the alcohol and the womanizing? It would hurt a lot of people if you did. My mama told me when I was hatched, act like a superstar. It would hurt Jesus most while I live, and it would change my eternity. I see what you did there. You're so judgmental. Where I go, I perform this way. Won't think it's cliche if I go so, judging myself for what I might do is judging you when I do it? I can connect the dots. Don't call the cops now, baby, I perform. Yet you expect me to maintain my covenants of marriage and baptism. I got Of course, you promised to do those things. Won't God remember your covenants also? Later, dude. Hey, man, gonna be warm this weekend. Let's go fishing. Ooh, fishing? There is room at the altar. There is room at the pew. There is room. A 
place for me and for you. It's not about being someone else. There's healing and being true. There is room at the cross for you. Tell me, do you care to obey him? Hi. From 2016 to 2022, I've never asked for contributions and none of my platforms are monetized. I'm generally more favorable to giving to widows and orphans than to giving to preachers. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. Jesus cares about the girls in these homes. I just completed Christian leadership training with Dr. Mark Rutland who founded Global Servants. I've reviewed their financials and I am impressed both with their accountability and the large proportion of contributions directly supporting their girls in Ghana and Thailand. Please visit their website, globalservants.org, and pray about giving to these girls through them. Tell me, do you care to obey him?